What is the sole purpose of a court-appointed guardian ad litem when the child tells you who they want to be with? So a guardian ad litem is usually a private attorney that's appointed by the court. A GAL serves as the eyes and the ears of the court. They have a fiduciary duty to the court and they have a duty to the children. The GAL is supposed to do an investigation, whether that's speaking to both parents, speaking to the children. There's usually collaterals who are witnesses that the GAL can speak to. In the state of Illinois, a GAL can issue off subpoenas. They can ask for documents, inspect them in order to make a recommendation as to decision making and the parenting schedule. Now, if a child is telling you who, who they want to be with, the question comes down to how old is this child? Why is the child even telling you who they want to be with? Why does the child know about court? Why is the child being put in a position to pick who they want to be with? Usually courts would look at that as brainwashing. The only time it's looked at as something other than brainwashing is if the child speaks to the GAL or, you know, the child is without being prompted and asked, just saying that he or she have absolutely no interest in seeing the other parent because maybe there's a history of that other parent not being around. Maybe there's a history of abuse. Maybe there's a history of domestic violence. Maybe there's a, a history of the child fearing the other parent. Maybe there is a tension between the child and the other parent. But to have a child literally be seated and you asking them, who do you want to live with? That's coaching. Children usually feel pressured. They want to make sure their parents are happy. They don't want to put a parent in a position where a parent is upset with their answer. You can't expect a child to make adult decisions. So I think it's very unfair to put a child in that position. And if the child has a opinion about who they want to live with, that'll usually come out during the GAL investigation. And the GAL can tell if it's a genuine opinion or if it's coached. When it's an older child and they've formulated everything about their decision from their experience from their parents and they have a very staunch position that really weighs in to the factors that a GAL needs to take into consideration while making the recommendation. A younger child, though they can make that opinion, a GAL will take that into consideration, but the GAL has to see what is in the best interest of the that child. So if the child says, I want to live with dad, and the GAO weighs out the factors and sees that dad is not consistent, that dad has a history of domestic violence, that dad is not reliable, then it won't be in the best interest of the child to live with dad. If mom is reliable, if mom is consistent, if mom doesn't have a background of domestic violence, if the mom has been very supportive. So you have to take in the factors. The court's not going to just take what the kids say and run with it. It doesn't work that way.